Welcome once again, I'm Brian Brody. Today we're about 20 miles outside of San Antonio, Texas and a place that I cannot wait to show you. Not only is the Bracken Bat Cave the largest bat colony on the face of our planet, but given the fact that this cave is a little under five acres and home to 20 million Mexican free tailed bats, a little more actually because this time of year, the first week of June, the bats gave birth to one pup each. So the contents of bats in this cave approach 35 million bats, the largest concentration of mammals anywhere on the globe. We're going to go ahead and meet one of the experts and learn quite a bit about the Mexican free tail bat. Now I know a lot of you are probably asking, Brian, why do we want to see a video about bats? Those cold-blooded winged little reptiles that fly through the night with three purposes in mind. That is to get tangled up in our hair, to suck our blood, or even to give us rabies. But what I've learned from the experts is none of that is anywhere near the truth. So I wanted real quickly to take a look at some of those myths, some of the urban legends which very well are responsible for the decline of the bats, not just in our country, but worldwide. Did you know that bats are mammals and therefore are warm-blooded? They give birth to one pup and they use breast milk to support that pup in the early days. In over 1,100 bat species, only one is attracted to blood. Less than one half of 1% of all bats globally contract rabies. You are more than likely worldwide to contract rabies from a rabid dog than you ever would be from a bat. Here's another myth. Though they do use echolocation, they are not blind. Which leads me to yet another myth. They are not interested in getting caught in your hair. Absolutely not true. We're going to come back in just a moment, meet with one of the experts here, and then get a little bit of an idea of why it is so important for you and I to do everything we can, not only to dispel those urban myths, but to protect the bats. Because believe me, when the sun goes down, bats are doing what they can to protect you and me. Brian, the Mexican free-tailed bats' primary food every night when they go out to eat are corn ear moths and cotton bowl moths. Uh, these moths lay their eggs on all the agricultural crops in the area and do millions of dollars in damage to our crops each year. But when they go out and eat their body weight in bugs, which is going to be 200 tons for this colony alone, it's going to save the uh, local farmers millions of dollars in pesticides that they don't have to buy and spray on the crops. Now, as a part of their survival technique, not unlike zebras in Africa when you think about it, how they band together very tightly to confuse the predators circling around the herd, when the bats leave the Bracken Bat Cave, they do so in tight little bands or ribbons. They look like snakes weaving through the sky, and that's because there's strength in numbers. They're trying to confuse the hawks that circle above looking for a quick meal. As the sun sets fully, the bats then are able to spread out across across the canopies, blanketing the earth, looking for what they're hungry for. And one of the perfect descriptions of the intimate chain of life. Here, every day about this time, you'll see some snakes come out. They're going to go ahead and prey on the bats. That is absolutely amazing. You see that dark line in the rock that's running horizontal to the bottom of the cave? Those are all Mexican free-tailed bats. As I sit here and watch this amazing natural spectacle unfold, I'm in a pretty good mood actually because these bats here at this particular cave are protected. As breathtaking as anywhere, upwards of 20 million, and with the young, up to 35 million bats leaving the Bracken bat colony all at once. You want to talk about breathtaking? You should smell the gu- <laughs> oh, All right, cut. Well, there you have it. As I promised, one of the coolest places on the face of the earth. Look, I've traveled as far away as China, and it's not very often I get to see a natural scene as cool as this. But there's a little bit of a dark side. Did you know that over 50% of the species here in America of bats are on the endangered species list? And in the last three years, we've lost over a million bats to the white nose syndrome. There's some other things that we need to know. Deforestation, 
people moving into wild habitats, even wind turbines, all go to reducing the population of bats. Look, we know they're good for us. They watch out for us. Now it's your turn, my turn, our turn to watch out for them. You can get started as I did. Just join today. I'm a member of Bat Conservation International. You can log on to batcon.org and learn how you can make a very positive impact in the warm-blooded winged mammals that look out for you every time you fall asleep. Until next time, I'm Brian Brody.